Hi guys, so I'm kind of excited because I'm finally going to be doing my very first kind of Q&A type video. So stoked, so stoked. Um, I've finally, I feel, got enough questions and I've gotten a lot of questions recently um, that I wanted to answer. So if you guys watch this video and you like it and you want to ask me more questions, please feel free to do so because I really love these kinds of videos. I feel like you get to know the person that's answering them so much more, I get to tell you things and it'll just, it'll be fun. So what I've been getting for a while now is when am I going to start doing vocal covers and stuff again? Um, and when am I going to be uploading them to this channel? Because my biggest video is my cover of Marilyn Manson's Heart Shaped Glasses. It'll be down below, it's really old um, and it's not very good, but it's got over 50,000 views so it's like my biggest thing um, right now. And I guess the main reason that I haven't done any more is I have, I mean, I have been recording covers but they've all been for uni work um, and for submitting to uni so I actually have like a whole separate private unlisted YouTube channel with all of these covers and I don't know, if you guys are interested there's a couple that I wouldn't mind putting up here. Um, but the thing I have is I've been doing those and then just sort of like a lot of people don't realise how much effort goes into making vocal covers and especially now that I'm in uni the standard for what I need to do just to make myself happy is so much higher. Um, for me to be happy I'd need to have my microphone, I'd need to have everything set up um, and I'm kind of too lazy and it's a lot of work and recording covers is really stressful for me. Um, every cover that I've done on my channel so far has taken a long while to get that take. Um, I'm probably better now but I don't know it's just it's a lot of effort for with that one exception of my biggest video not a lot of attention like I, I don't know a lot of people that watch just people playing guitar in their rooms, like covering a song, unless they're already big, or unless they're amazing. i just sort of change my stance here. But um, yeah, basically, it's a lot of work, it's really stressful, and I don't know, if you guys want to see some covers, I've got one um, I did this year with me and one of my college mates. Um, doing a uh, landslide by Fleetwood Mac or Stevie Nicks, whatever you prefer. Um, and I really like it, so if you guys want to see that, let me know. I have been working on a cover of London Town by William Control, so if you guys are really that interested in seeing covers, I can try and get that one done for you. But as of right now, I don't have anything else, really, that isn't uni work. Another question that I've got in the last couple of days or so is, whether or not I'm going to make a response video to Legia Resurrecti's video on um, the issues that we have in the goth community. I can't remember what her video is called. But uh, Sarah Darlene and Neff and a couple of other people have made videos responding to that. And to be honest, um, I don't know. I've never really liked making videos responding to people about things like that. I kind of... I agree with Lygia... I, I agree with Lygia Resurrected on a couple of points. And I disagree with her on a couple of points. We have a weird relationship where I don't think she likes me very much and we've kind of clashed a couple of times and to be honest I don't know if I'd be comfortable making a reaction video to her. I, I'm sure she probably thinks I'm fine but I don't know. I don't want to like start something and I don't want to just cause unnecessary drama because there are a lot of points in their thing that I don't agree with um, or that I feel differently about. So I don't, I don't think I'm gonna make a video. I might like right now I don't think I will but maybe maybe I'll feel differently in a week. Maybe. I don't know. We have clashed on a couple of occasions and I just don't feel like it would be a good idea, maybe, to make a video <laughs> responding to her. Um, I think she's lovely, but I think we're just 
or just like oil and water where we should probably like not communicate with each other because we're, we're very different people. Um, so there's that. I get a lot of questions about my alternative modelling. I have just made a video talking about how I got into my latex and fetish modelling. That will be up either before or after this video. I don't know when I'm going to be uploading these. But that will be out um, around the same time as this. Um, so that's going to be there. Um, thinking back, I don't think I've done a video talking about how I got into alternative modelling in general. I think I did a video where I sort of talked about it. I did tips for becoming an alternative model and how I became an alternative model, but I don't think I really went into it, so I might redo that video and talk more about my experience, because I think I was focusing more on how to help other people. Um, so I might do that. Um, I'm also planning to do a video talking about how I'm now agency signed and what that means and everything to do with being an alternative agency signed model um, and stuff. If you guys didn't know, yeah, I got signed to Twisted. It's like it's pretty cool. That happened a couple of months ago. Um, I don't think I announced it on YouTube, but I announced it everywhere else. And then I guess we'll just address this one because no matter how many times I talk about it and like every second or third video people are like where are you from what is your accent etc um okay so i'm from scotland i'm from like the west of scotland like just outside glasgow if that helps anyone um however my accent is fairly unusual my accent is not typical glaswegian and i get told that a lot um the reason my accent is weird is because i grew up kind of, um, not posh, but kind of very middle class and I it just sort of developed weird and it's always been kind of weird and it's always been different from everyone and I'm not from anywhere different, it's just sort of become like this. Um, I guess is the easiest way to put it. So yeah, my accent is unusual even from where I'm from. Um, I get people asking if I'm English, I get people asking if I'm from like the east of Scotland, I get people asking if I'm really super fucking posh, and no, I just I just have a weird accent. <laughs> it's long story short, or well, medium size story short. So another question I've got a couple of times is how did I get to do merch for volume control? Um, And the answer to that is, I didn't officially do merch for William Control in that <clears throat> he didn't approach me or I didn't approach him prior to doing the shoot with Beth and Victor. Um, it's not like it was an arranged thing, it just so happened that me and Beth and Victor decided that we would do this shoot wearing William Control's merch. And he graciously and in the most lovely way saw it and was really impressed and shared it and now like I know him and I talk to his drummer like all the time like it's it just became this thing and I didn't expect it to become this thing where I actually knew them and had them on Facebook and everything it it, it was it's really surreal and it's still surreal um the fact that they know who we are and they talk to us and stuff is weird um but basically yeah we did this shoot uh, wearing his hot pants and it just so happened that he wanted to use those pictures so he, he used them that was like that was that was what happened and I remember I remember um, like dying inside like in the best possible way when I saw that he'd done that I like was running about my room squealing I was like oh, holy crap so that was really really cool and I think I died when he added me on Facebook I think I screenshotted that he added me on Facebook actually which was really sad. So a lot of questions I've got in the last year have been, am I going to Whitby this time? I got it before I was going in October there as well. Um, people are like, are you going to Whitby again? Are we gonna get to see you again? Because I get so many people coming up to me at Whitby recognizing me and it's insane. Um, and the answer is yes. Um, it's not 100% finalized, but I will be going to Whitby again, like, in just over a month. I'll be there, you'll get to meet me, it'll be great. Um, it's just not 110% finalised, um, I've not sent my press stuff yet, 
um, but I should be vlogging again and the way it's looking I should be doing that for the foreseeable future basically so long as I keep making vlogs because the woman that runs Whitby Joe she is just the most amazing person and she saw my vlogs and was like keep doing what you're doing and we will invite you to Whitby and you will be our guest and I'm just like I'm so grateful um, to her so yeah long story short yes I'll be at Whitby um, and I'll probably be at the next Whitby and the Whitby after that unless something horrific happens. On a related note, something I wanted to kind of put to rest because I've not had a lot of people asking about this but I've had, I've had, I've had people sort of commenting upon the situation um, about why I used to do... basically I used to um, go to Lesfest which is now Wildfire Festival. Um, I used to go to that every summer and the last two times I went that I vlogged, that would have been like two two and three years ago, um, those last two times I vlogged it and I was actually working there. And then the next year I didn't do it and I'm not doing this year. And people wanted to know why. And... <coughs> the reason is there was drama, not so much to do with me, but there was drama that meant that the reason is that there was drama and it wasn't really drama involving me but there was drama involving people that meant that me working there was kind of awkward um like people people um to do with wildfire fell out and stuff like that i don't really want to go too much into it in case i get into trouble or like whatever you know because it's it's really not anyone else's business but pe people have been asking um so there was that and it kind of when it came to deciding whether I wanted to come back last year and uh even just to go there I decided not to um they didn't ask me back to do merch not I don't think through anything that I did but um they, they just didn't ask <laughs> um it's not that I did anything horrific or anything I you know they just didn't ask me back and I was like with everything that sort of happened that I can't really talk about, um, I just didn't feel like I'd have fun going back. Um, I'm still friends with loads of people that work with it and everything. Uh, I just don't think it's for me anymore. And with knowing people that do bloodstock and everything now, I feel like I've sort of almost progressed and I'm hoping to be at bloodstock this year. Maybe not working, but definitely, hopefully, in the VIP area meeting people and then hopefully in the future working with them, I hope. Fingers crossed. But yeah, will, will I go back to Lesfest slash Wildfire? Right now I don't think so. Um, maybe in the future, but right now with the way that people's friendships have disintegrated and everything, um, and the awkwardness, I, I don't think so. Like, it's just, it was all a bit awkward. <laughs> um, I know it's I know it's kind of enigmatic and mysterious, but I mean it's not that big a deal. Like just people fell out and yeah. So I'll I'll do one more question, and that's one that I've been getting increasingly as time has went on since I got my rats uh, just under a year ago. Um, people have been asking like, aside from showing them once or twice in videos, I haven't like shown off the cage really, like their new cage and I've not shown off where they're living or made any updates on them and there isn't, I guess there's a reason for that but it's like a really stupid reason and the reason really is that the times that their cage is spotless and the times when I'm filming have not meshed. Um, I usually set specific time aside for filming and usually I like to clean their cage well at night when like no one else is going to be using the shower for the next while so that I can disinfect everything overnight. Um, and basically it just so happens that pretty much every time I go to film their cage is not very clean. It's, it's not like really bad but it's like, like there's rat poop everywhere and there's been a couple of times where I've gone to film like showing off their location and all their cool stuff and as I've been going on to film they've like pooped everywhere and ruined it. Um, 
So one day, one day I'm actually going to get around to actually filming that. Because they're doing amazingly, but it's just, it's just not happened yet. I just keep, like, missing out and then not feeling like doing it. So if you guys really want to see uh, Zero Mordy's cage and everything, let me know. Because I'm willing to do that video. Just, it's, it's, it's a lot of effort. And their cage is a bitch to clean. <laughs> so... Yeah, I think that's all the questions. If you guys have any more questions, please do let me know. I really enjoyed these types of videos, so yeah. Uh, let me know if you like this video, and I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye-bye.